Boudreaux. I think I hear Boudreaux coming. You hear Boudreaux? Yay! Hey, we're we're going. Going. Woo! Oh, we got hey, it. Welcome oh. to Hooligans on the Ground. Yay! Hey. 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 All right, I'm going to start us off. I'm going to do a Boudreaux joke. And I'm yeah. going to tell y'all just a little story about Boudreaux and his dead horse. Oh, That's uh, funny already. No! Of course, Boudreaux needs to go get a new horse. <laughs> hey, Johnny, back up a little bit, bro. <laughs> or get on stage. That's fine. All right. Let, let him tell the first joke if he... Boudreaux's horse died. So he needed a new one. Now, he was looking on Craigslist. And Boudreaux's <laughs> horse for sale. Good thing. So he went down there to check it out down in uh, Pro Bridge. Now, now he got to that ranch, the horse on Schofield. He said, This horse is an easy riding horse. You just say, Praise the Lord to make him go and amen to make him stop. So Pujo got on that horse and he said, Praise the Lord. And the horse started walking. <laughs> Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And the horse was running. Uh -oh. Now, Boudreau, all of a sudden, he sees a cliff. <laughs> real fast on that cliff. So he says, amen. And the horse stops, dead in his tracks. Now, Boudreau said, woo, praise the Lord, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Indiana this week. Yay! Just now, on the TV, Arizona State number sixty-two. Wow! Sixty-two out of what? Out of ten million or what? I don't know. <laughs> number sixty-two. Number sixty-two. <laughs> <Those> Yankees. <laughs> Hello, Good to see Hi, everyone. Hello. Good to see uh, you. Hello, Hi, Sky. Boy. Glad you can make it, Sky. Yeah, welcome in. Hi, Sky. You, you just Hi. You just missed Boston. Yeah. Oh know. no. No, no, no. Boston's got two trains coming in. Darn it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Boudreaux and Thibodeau, you know, they work at that shrimp factory, right? That's where they, yeah. they peel shrimp. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, the other day, neither one of them really wanted to work. They wanted to go fishing. <laughs> Boudreaux says to Thibodeau, he says, you know, I know, a, I know how to get time off from work. I got some idea. Now, Thibodeau say, how that? Watch what this, said Boudreau. Now he climbs up the side of the building, up on the rafters, and he's hanging upside down from the rafters. Now the boss walks in, sees Boudreau up there, and he says, What on earth are you doing up there? <laughs> Boudreau responds, I'm a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> now the boss said, Man, I think you need some time off. <laughs> it worked, yo. Boudreau jumps down, walks out the door. And mm -hmm. Thibodeau looked at the boss, looked at Boudreau, and starts walking out that door, too. The boss said, where you going? And, uh, Thibodeau replies, I can't work in the dark. Gotcha! <laughs> 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 Got a point. Go, go, go. Can't feel shrimp in the dark. I thought he was going to say he was a socket. Actually, I can't feel shrimp in the dark. 
the first time I was reading it, I thought it was going to be light switch, but it surprised me. Can't work in the dark. <laughs> All right, that's two for me. Now, who wants to come up here first and, and, and entertain us? I'll get my I won't come up first, but I got some stupid ones. Well, you want to go up it there? It good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, 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 we, got, we got a race. Why and Fiddle are going to race to the chair. And, uh, who let us just, let us just down first. Yeah, let's just give him a big <laughs> welcome, whoever makes it. Yeah, it's him. Hey, man. Then it's time going. for me to go. Your, your ass is really cute, Fiddler. Hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big hand for Fiddler. Yay, Fiddler! Yes, thank you, thank you very, very much. As you know, all my jokes suck. Thank you very much. So, I got some jokes, like some are insults and shit like that. Nah. And I just went through some basic dumb, rude jokes, okay? This is something you'd say to someone as an insult. You're the reason the gene pool needs a lifeguard. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Three words to ruin a man's ego. Is it in? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> when I die, I hope I have enough time to point at a complete stranger and whisper, You did this! Oh! <laughs> Oh, wouldn't that be great? Always, <laughs> always, owls always look like they just saw a penis for the first time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. You say to a, a woman that's sexy when you're young, you know, of course, this is way back when in my day. Did you get those yoga pants on sale? Because at my house, they're 100% on. <laughs> I have a question for you. Would masturbating while smoking weed be considered master blazing, weed whacking, or hijacking? Oh, <laughs> man, that's a good one. one will suffice. Did you know that crowded elevators smell different to midgets? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's out. Oh. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> you hear about the guy who died out of a Viagra overdose? They couldn't close his casket and oh. <laughs> oh, ow. Ow. Well, at least you wouldn't feel it. <laughs> Snap. Right. Snap. I don't think it's ever possible for me to become a sniper. Not by a long shot. <laughs> Not by a long shot. Oh, that's a good one. And this mm -hmm. one, I'm sure you've heard before. What's the difference between ooh and ah? Oh, I know. Walk three inches. <laughs> <laughs> This is true. I'm emotionally constipated. I haven't given a shit in days. I ain't got no shit to give. I'm all out of shit to give. Yeah. One day a little boy wrote to Santa Claus, Please send me a sister. Santa Claus, Claus wrote back to him, Okay, send me your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Send me a picture of your mother. <laughs> man, she's a slut, but if a man does, he's gay. Definitely gay. Absolutely. <laughs> Why men's voices are louder than women? Men have an antenna. I don't get it. Damn, what? Antenna. I don't get the antenna part. A low yeah. wave antenna. Mid oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear the low wave part. Did you know if sex is a pain in the ass, you're doing it totally wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you're going the wrong way, man. <laughs> Women That's funny. might be able to fake an orgasm, but men can fake a whole relationship. 
Truth. Uh, fake a, fake a fake of what? Uh, let's say Baby, I, I didn't get that. He's a fake of what? Whole relationship. Whole relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I saw six men kicking and punching my mother-in-law. My neighbor said, aren't you going to help? I said, no, six should be enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Are you gonna make it Thursday? Yes, yes. We had no storm as far as I know. All right, match game is back on Thursday. Match game awesome. back on Thursday. Yay! Hey, Sarah, be square. Right. Well, well, hugs wild. Yeah. Have an awesome yeah. night. Good night. Love you all. Good night. Good night, Bye. Bye. Don't be good. All right, guys. I'm gonna tell y'all another story. And this one's with Boudreaux, Thibodeau, and this time Abel. Now, all three of them boys was, was getting tired at work and worn down. They needed they needed to take a vacation. Now, they decided that they was going to take a weekend break and go down to Mexico. Well, they hadn't seen each other for quite a few years, so they was telling long stories. And the laughs were loud and the booze was flowing down in Mexico. Now, they had such a good time, they all woke up the next morning and found themselves in a Mexican jail. <laughs> oh, no. And ain't none of them boys remember a damn thing. Mm -mm. Now, however, within a couple hours, they're all sentenced to be executed the following day. Oh, no. That's around in Mexico, y'all. Oh, no. No. Looks like that in the morning, it was all execute, ex escorted to death row, where Abel, the first of the group, strapped into the electric chair, and uh, they asked Abel if he had a few words to say before they flipped that switch on him. Now, sure, Abel say, he says, I'm from the Catholic University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I believe in the power of the Almighty God. I am innocent, and God will intervene. Okay. The executioner throws the switch, and nothing happens. Ooh. Well, the prison staff, they, they just can't believe this turn of events. Now, they beg Abaz forgiveness, because obviously he's blessed. And they release him. All right, ne next up in the chair is Thibodeau. Uh -oh. He's strapped down in that chair. And he's offered the opportunity to say something. So here's what Boudreaux say. He said, well, I'm from the Tulane Law School down in New Orleans. And I believe that the power of natural justice will intervene. Yo, because I'm innocent. Now, once again, the executioner throws the switch and nothing happens. Again, 
the prison staff, they just can't believe this turn of events. Mm. Now they beg Thibodeau's forgiveness, and they release him. Now finally, Boudreau, he's strapped down into that chair, and once again, he's offered the opportunity to say something. Now well, said Boudreau, I have a certificate from the Louisiana Technical Institute of Electrical Engineering. <laughs> bro, uh, down in Lafayette, and I can tell you right now, <laughs> you ain't executing me if you don't plug this damn chair in. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> yeah. oh, Next great. up, I think is gonna be Y. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey. So let's welcome Y up to the stage. Let's see if I can stand up. Hey, how come I'm hugger? What the hell? What the hell am I doing? Johnny, was that your kiss and hug thing? Johnny, was that your kiss and hug thing that I'm looking at? I think there's a, uh, a ghost sitting in that chair. A hugger. Ghost. Uh, I think there is too. I don't know what the hell he did to me, but he did something goddamn. We all wanted ass shots. Yeah. Well, I was in a restaurant, and this morning, hand on my German friend and I were in a restaurant. And these two blondes were sitting next to us in a booth, and the one blonde goes, "Do you know that nothing starts with an N and ends with a G?" And the other blonde's like, "Wow. Wow." I went to the bookstore yesterday and I saw a book that said how to solve 50% of your problems. So I bought two copies. <laughs> oh no. When does a Cub Scout become a Boy Scout? He eats his first brownie. <laughs> oh, it was when he got that wee blow badge. What do you call a bunny with a crooked dick? Oh my god. The Looks weave. funny. <laughs> what do you call a 90 year old man who can still masturbate? Miracle. Boudreau. <laughs> yeah, Boudreau. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how can you tell if you got African bees? Oh, no. Tastes like malt liquor. Or <laughs> 45. What do fat chicks and mopeds have in common? They're both fun to ride till a friend sees you on them. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, I know Gleason knows this one. Why can't Jesus eat M&Ms? Why? He's got holes in his hands. <laughs> 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 What's the hardest part about eating a vegetable? Putting your back in the wheelchair when you're done. <laughs> what do you call a Muslim stripper? You've seen me muff. <laughs> You've seen me muff. How many cops does it take to screw in a light bulb? Oh, no, how many? None. They just beat the room for being black. Oh, oh my God. That, right, that's so wrong. And I know, but these are so wrong jokes. Okay, what's the flattest surface you can iron your jeans on? I don't know, an iron? My <laughs> ass, a white girl's butt. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, what'd the blind man say when he passed the fish market? Hello, ladies. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hey, what has a whole bunch of little balls and screws old ladies? A bingo machine. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right, what's black and eats pussy? Okay, Simpson. Cervical <laughs> cancer. Oh, oh God. Oh, that's good. I know. Who, hey, who was the most well-known Jewish oh. cook? <laughs> Hitler. Oh, that's awful, too. Oh, that's awful. Oh, my God. What do you call a computer teacher who touches his students? These were bad. Oh, 
I know, I know, I know. A PDF file. A PDF file, oh, yeah. <laughs> PDF file. Get a fat chicken to bed with you. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> Hey, have you heard the one about the lesbian that took Viagra? She couldn't get her tongue back in her mouth for a month. <laughs> <laughs> the woman goes stripped down facing me, and the man followed the instructions, but pretty soon he realized they were directions for swiping the credit card. Now he can't go to the grocery store anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and the doctor says, how often do you masturbate? And the patient goes, well, about four times a day. And the doctor says... Well, do you think you can stop? And the patient says, why? And the doctor says, because I'm trying to freaking examine you? <laughs> <laughs> what did the father buffalo say to his kid before leaving for work every morning? Bison. 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 Two roaches are munching on garbage in an alley, and one starts a discussion about this new restaurant in town. Mm. I was in the new restaurant across the street. It's so clean. The kitchen's spotless. The floors are gleaming white. There's no dirt anywhere. It's so sanitary. The whole place shines there. And the friend goes, please, the cockroach says. Not while I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Bolting. Two flies laying out a pile of manure. <laughs> One fly passes gas. The other fly looks at him and says, Hey, do you mind? I'm eating here. <laughs> <laughs> the guy walks into a zoo. The only animal in the entire zoo is a dog. It's a shit zoo. Oh, my God. That's good. You write that one down. I write that one. That's a good one. Two men, Jim and John, they're walking their dogs. They pass by a restaurant. Well, let's go in and get something to eat, Jim says. Well, we can't, says John. Don't you see the sign says no pets allowed? Oh, that sign, don't worry about it, says Jim. Takes out a pair of sunglasses and walks up to the door. As he tries walking in the restaurant, the host is like, sorry, no pets allowed. Jim goes, can't you see? this? I am blind. This is my seeing eye dog. Well, that's a Doberman pincer. Who uses a Doberman pincer as a seeing eye dog? Oh, Jim says, you must not have heard. This is the latest type of seeing eye dog. They do a really good job. Well, seeing that it worked, John tries walking in with his chihuahua. <laughs> Even before he could open his mouth, the host says, don't tell me a chihuahua is the latest type of seeing eye dog. And John goes, you mean they gave me a fucking chihuahua? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy's <laughs> uh, You know, a bird in the hand makes blowing your nose really difficult. <laughs> the snake goes to see an optometrist because his eyesight's failing. It's actually affecting my life. I can't hunt anymore because I can't see. The doctor fits the snake for glasses, and the snake immediately notices an improvement in his eyesight. A week later, the doctor calls the snake to check on how the glasses are holding up. Oh, they're fine, the snake says, but now I'm being treated for depression. Depression, the doctor said. Yeah, my eyesight cleared up, but it made me realize I've been dating a garden hose. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, that's all I got for tonight, boys and girls. Awesome. Good job. All right, I got another story to tell y'all. This one's just a little bit longer. So make yourself comfortable. All right. Now, y'all know Thibodeau and Clotilde. Now, this is a story about back when they was younger, when they were still considered a young Catholic couple. Now, mm. Thibodeau and Clotilde were on their way to church to get married. Now, sadly, their lives were cruelty cut short by a road traffic accident right before mm. they reached the church. Now, nevertheless, they lived good and decent lives. So naturally, in an instant, 
they found themselves standing at the pearly gates in front of St. Peter himself. Man. Now, St. Peter was reviewing the clipboard to confirm that they was on that list. Now, as they stood there, Thibodeau says to St. Peter, Sir, will we, is it still possible that we could get married in heaven? Now, St. Peter says, well, to be honest, I'm not really sure about that. You know, believe it or not, this has never happened before in heaven. Now, if you bear with me, just wait right here. I will go check it out for you. Now, with that, St. Peter goes, poof, disappeared. So, Thibodeau and Clotilde, they sat down on a nearby golden bench, and they waited, and waited, and waited, and waited some more. Now, they waited so long that the couple, that a couple of months had done pass by. Uh, naturally, in that time, they chatted. And they talked about their future and the challenges of being married and the fact that many of their friends who gotten married wasn't married no more. And, and, and he, mm -hmm. now eventually, St. Peter reappeared looking at them flustered. He said, well, I have some good news for you both. I am pleased to announce that you will indeed be able to get married here in heaven. Oh, that's great, says Clotilde, very enthusiastically. Now, Thibodeau, he wasn't quite so happy about that. He says, St. Peter, I was just wondering. Now, if we were to marry and things did not work out, would we, we be able to get divorced in heaven? St. <laughs> Peter's response suggested that he was a little bit irritated by Thibodeau's question as he slammed the clipboard angrily down on the floor. Oh, yeah. Clotilde, she says, St. Peter, what is the matter? Now, oh, for heaven's sakes, says St. Peter, it's taken me almost three months to find a priest. That makes sense. <laughs> I gotta say that for my brother. I have that for my brother. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. That was slow, but it had a good end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you told it well. Yeah, you did it well. All right. Open mic. I think uh, I think we want Gleesa up here, right? Yay! Gleesy! Yay! Yeah, right now, Gleesa. All right, everybody, welcome Gleesa. Yay, Gleesa! <laughs> You know, I said thank you and all wonderful things and about everybody here and, and Nick. So, I mean, I'm sorry you missed it, so I'm not repeating it. <laughs> well, that's some wild hair you got. Oh, you like that? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, um, I didn't have time to straighten the hair, so this is it. <laughs> <laughs> down to your ankles. <laughs> I wanted to, uh, to I, I, I was, I have this shit going through my mind. I'm on vacation, so my mind tends to not stop, so I think weird things. So I was thinking about poetry. I and, think weird. Yeah, I do. I, I was thinking about poetry and my parents. And, uh, you know, then we all had little poems. Some I probably can't repeat and some I've lost. And others I'm going to dig and find. But my mother used to tell me this, you know, little story. Little bird with yellow bill sat upon my windowsill. I lured it with a piece of bread, and then I smashed his little head. <laughs> these, these are things that I, that I grew up with. Yeah, and no wonder. I think, you know, what happened suffered. in other families? What, what really happened in the other families? Like, uh -huh. You know, was, was there Shakespeare going on, you know, to be or not to be? No, Where the hell are my car keys? Um, you know, different little things that, you know, poetry was going on in other homes. Well, tonight, as Fiddler and I are getting ready for dinner, I'm sitting there going, or I'm actually walking around with stuff, and I'm going, snot running down his nose. 
Greasy fingers smearing shabby clothes. Aqualung. <laughs> this is what Hitler says in the back. So it, it's different. Different. <laughs> Not learning garlic bread. All right. So. And then I started singing it during dinner, and she yeah, goes, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have been singing about snot running down his nose if I was we were making ham salad either. But. Oh, oh. How do, you, do you know how trees get on the internet? Trees? Yeah, trees? On. They just log on. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Log on. Yeah. How do you fix a broken penguin? Penguin. Pumpkin. 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 With a pumpkin patch. Oh. Of <laughs> uh, Yeah. What else, right? What is it called when a tree takes some time off? I don't know. Paid leaf. Paid leaf. <laughs> 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 Why did the pumpkin lose the boxing match? He let his gourd down. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the worst one of the night. <laughs> what did one leaf say to the other leaf? What did one leaf? I'm bawling for you. Oh, God. That's the worst. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, okay. Hang on. What do leaves say when they hibernate? Don't know. Break me up when September ends. Never mind. Oh, that's good. Break <laughs> <laughs> <Rake> me up. <laughs> what is it called when a tree doesn't think it's autumn? Um, no. Disbelief. Disbelief. <laughs> Got it. What's the saddest side dish in the fall? Mm. Sweet potato one. cries. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet potato cry cries. 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 <clears throat> Here we go. This is where she makes me proud. This is a poultry guys. A poultry guys. A poultry guys. A poultry. That's cute. I'm sorry, it's so poultry stupid. Guys. It's funny. <laughs> a poultry guys. She's enjoying her own jokes, that's for sure. <laughs> She loves her own jokes. And that's the yeah, funniest part about it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. From place to place, if you've done as much drugs as I've had in your life, you find this funny. So. Hey, only <laughs> Red Skelton can laugh at his own jokes. You don't even come close. How do uh, we get from place to place? Like... Autumn mobiles. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. What's the ratio of a pumpkin circumference to its diameter? One third. That's a good one. Pumpkin well, oh, that's right. Uh, that's good. That's good. Well, yeah. Who lives in this scary hundred acre wood? Winnie the Poo Poo? Winnie the Boo. Winnie the Boo. Winnie the Boo. <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is stupid. Who won the skeleton beauty contest? I'm Ida. Nobody. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Okay, I think that's all I have. <laughs> I like the nobody. On Halloween is still a couple weeks Yay! off. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just, I'll leave with, uh, with this. Which pumpkins swim the best? I don't know. The Coast the Gorge. Okay. The Coast Gorge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's done. Yeah. I like that. Hey.
A skeleton walks up to the bar and says, "Give me a beer and a mop." Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Randy, you got jokes tonight? Oh, I got some. If you want me to fill in, yeah. Sure. Of course, Randy. Come on, buddy. Uh, everybody, let's get Randy up here. Hey, Randy! Come on, Randy! All right, here we go, meat bag. <laughs> Ready. Hey, wait a minute. Did you just call us meat bags? Kill all humans. Kill all humans. Okay, never mind. That's from the show. I used to get paid to say that. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> well now let's hear about the meat bags. Come on. Hey, hey, I get, I get, a, I get a question. How do you get a garbage <laughs> truck driver to join the mafia? Well, you make him an offer. He can't refuse. Refuse. <laughs> refuse. <laughs> <can't> refuse. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Get a new truck for your spouse. It'll be a great trade. <laughs> <laughs> well, my truck has the best security system in the world. I can leave it parked and unlocked with the keys in the ignition, and nobody steals it. Sometimes I wish somebody would. <laughs> <laughs> hey, with the rise of these self-driving vehicles, it's only a matter of time before we get a country song where a guy's truck leaves him too. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. oh. Hey, have you ever tried eating egg yolk off the cook wheels? I highly recommend it. After all, there's no plate like chrome for the holiday. <laughs> um, you gotta really think on that one. It was good. Well, I tried to get a shipment of fire hydrants from the factory that makes them, but I, I wasn't allowed to stop anywhere near the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, parking anywhere? Yeah. Right, right. No stopping in front of a fire hydrant. Yeah. You know, here's here's one I remember from last time. Let's see if I can get it right. This is only for truckers. All right, everybody else, close your ears. I gotta leave. I'll be yeah. back. The blonde, the blonde, the blonde wants to. She wants to hurt her truck driver husband, so she cuts the air brake lines. Oh no! I, I should hear Nick happen. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Pressurize him with it air. Sounds air. like fucking premeditated murder. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Washington, I, uh, uh, they go everywhere. Hey, you know what? Once upon a time, there was a man driving down the road behind an 18 wheeler. At every stoplight, the trucker would get out of the cab, run back, and bang on the trailer door. After seeing this at several intersections in a row, the motorist followed him until he pulled into a parking lot. When they both had come to a stop, the truck driver once again jumped out and started banging on the trailer door. So the motorist went up to him and said, I don't mean to be nosy, buddy, but why do you keep banging on that door? To which the trucker replied, uh, sorry, can't talk now. I have 20 tons of canaries and a 10 ton limit. Well, I have to keep half of them flying at all times. <laughs> oh, you broke, you broke up. What, what happened? Here's one for you. A Japanese student. Master Okoyo, why do Europeans think we all look the same? Master replied, I am not Master Okoyo. <laughs> That's the same, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this boy comes up to his father all angry. Dad, Dad, do you remember how you told me to put a potato in my swimming trunk? How you said it would impress the girls? 
And the father looks up smiling. Yeah, did it work? The boy screams, you could have mentioned that the potato goes in the front. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when I see lovers' names carved in a tree, I don't think it's sweet. I just think it's surprising how many meat bags bring a knife on a date. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I threw a box of meat bags, meat oh, bags, yeah, you. <laughs> I had a dream once where an evil queen forced me to eat a gigantic marshmallow. <laughs> when I woke up, my pillow was gone. <laughs> My pillow, my pillow. Was it a my pillow? Oh. Yeah, it was I don't want, a my pillow. I don't want to go over, so tell, tell me to stop or keep going. All Let's right. Keep going, keep going. Give me three more. Can a, can, can a kangaroo jump higher than a house? Of course, a house can't jump can't at jump. all. <laughs> uh, doctor says, you're obese. Patient says, for that, I definitely want a second opinion. The doctor says, well, you're ugly, too. <laughs> That's a Rodney joke. Well, I'll tell you, I went to the doctor. He says, I'm getting fat. I says, I want another opinion. He says, okay, you're ugly, too. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I know I'm ugly. I got dressed this morning. I, I caught the fruit of the loom guys laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> A son, a son asks his mother, Mom, the kids are laughing at me. They say my teeth are too long. And the mother replies, Oh, shush. Now you've scratched the whole floor again. <laughs> <laughs> that is some long teeth. <laughs> yeah. Will you marry me, honey? No. Two hours of uncomfortable silence in the hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Choose your uh, proposal location. Oh, well. my God. <laughs> Boy, yeah, you got to plan your exit if it doesn't go well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a parachute yeah. would have been good back then. <laughs> and take the champagne and the chocolate-covered strawberries with you. All right, Randy, <laughs> give us one more, and then I'm going to come up there with one and wrap it up. Okay. Daddy, what is an alcoholic? Well, you see those four trees, son? An alcoholic would see eight trees. Mm, Dad, there's only two trees out there. <laughs> That's a good one. Good one. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, big hand for Randy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's always right, fun. Guys. I got one more, and then we'll do an open mic just in case somebody might have been working up their nerve all night. Mention to Cotillo again. I love that name, Cotillo. Cotillo? I love that name, Cotillo. All right. All right. I got one here with Cotillo in it, I think. All right. Y'all, Thibodeau's marriage is getting a little bit dull. So one day while I was at the bar, he asked Boudreau, if he has any ideas on how to add some excitement back into that marriage. The Boudreaux say, well, you can always have an affair, Thibodeau. Uh -huh. I can't do that. I will always be faithful to her, says Thibodeau. <laughs> Boudreaux say, now, if you convince her to let you do it, <laughs> well, Tib thinks about this and he agrees. Now he's going to give that a try. So <laughs> <laughs> Clotilde are together, uh, and when Clotilde is in a really good mood, he talks to her about this, and he shares that idea. Oh. Clotilde says, honey, that won't help our marriage. Believe me, I already tried it. <laughs> oh, God. That ain't the one I was going to say. What a woman. I'm going to say the one I was going to say. All right. Yeah. yeah. This one's about Marie. But Thibodeau's in it. All right. Marie was out shopping down at the Bayou uh, supermarket. And it's called Thibodeau's Department Store. <laughs> she was down 
and they're looking to buy some materials for a new dress that she was making. Now she's standing at the fabric counter and she spotted a suitable uh, stretch of material and, and says to Thibodeau behind the counter, what is the cost of this material, please? Well, Miss Marie, the price for that is one kiss per yard. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Now, that's what Thibodeau says to, to Marie. Now, Marie says, well, that's fine. I'll take 10 yards. <laughs> Woo. Thibodeau, he can't believe his luck. And he quickly <laughs> measured out all the cloth, 10 whole feet, folded it carefully, wrapped it up, and then teasingly held the package out to Marie. Now, in turn, Marie accepted the package, smiled, then pointed down the aisle by the fishing section at Boudreaux. She says, my husband will settle the bill. <laughs> All right, with that one, we're going to call for open mic. If there's anybody out there got a joke they want to uh, speak out loud, now's the time. Now's the time. Come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. All right. Save it for next week. Why? Why you want to go to the bathroom when we close? I'll, I'll tell a couple more. You want to tell a couple more? All right. All right. Yeah. So everybody, let's welcome Fiddler back up to the stage. Get back up. Get back up. Come on up here, bro. Shoeless. 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 You're doing the, the butt oh, no. shot. Apparently well, that goes it's picky. the chair. It'll take the male switch or the around. female. It's shoeless chair. Sit down now. Okay, one-liners. What did the penis say to the condom? Uh, good Don't question. Me up. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> what goes in hard and dry and comes out wet and soft? Oh, God. I hate to make it. Chewing gum. Chewing gum, yep. <laughs> What do you do with a year's worth of used condoms? You melt them down into a tire and call it a good year. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> what does the receptionist say at a sperm bank as a client leaves? Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between a G spot and a golf ball? A guy will actually search for the golf ball. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. How is a boyfriend and a girlfriend like a laxative? They Quit. both irritate the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's the key. I just married you. <laughs> What did the penis say to the vagina? Don't Hello. make me come in there. <laughs> <laughs> what did the hurricane say to the coconut tree? Uh-oh. Don't know. Hold on to your nuts. This ain't no ordinary blowjob. No. <laughs> Sorry for you peeps down in Florida for that. <laughs> A lot of people did get fucked. They say that uh, makeup sex is the best, which is lucky because I'm all sex is made up. <laughs> it's all made up. Which sexual <laughs> position pr produces the ugliest kids? Answer: Ask your mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. There is, is one, but I got one better. What's 71? What's 71? Yeah, two fingers up your ass. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd get arrested if I told that joke. <laughs> You're going to go to hell for telling what that joke. What do and a dildo have in common? Answer? They're both meat substitutes. 
Welcome uh, to 69. Answer. Mouthwash. <laughs> 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 I like that one. I like that one, yeah. We used to use wine what back What does the sign out of, on an out-of-business brothel say? Beat it. Wear clothes. <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> he learned that one from Michael Jackson. Honeymoon salad. Let us alone without dressing. <laughs> How could you get away with this? I can't get away with that shit. How do you do it? There's so many stupid ones, I can't pick out the, the good ones. <laughs> Hello, I'm bisexual. I'd like to buy you a drink and then get sexual. Hey. <laughs> I got a trucker joke. Want me throw it in there? You want a trucker joke? No? All right. Yeah. All right. I'll, be a Bur I'll be Burger King and you be McDonald's. I'll have it my way and you'll be loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good that's one. Funny. That's a real good one. That's a, I wonder what Ronald McDonald was. You can strip and I'll poke you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay. Uh, there's really stupid ones. Knock, knock. Who's that? Dover. Dover who? Ben Dover, and I'll give you a big surprise. Stupid right, <laughs> shit like that. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> knock, knock. Who's that? Cam. Cam who? Camel toe. Do you have any pants I can borrow? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you making fun of the vice president, so called vice that? president? Some, some who? Some bitch telling you a fucking knock, knock joke. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. Big hand for Fiddler. Yay. I told you they were stupid. All right, the best way to end the night. People will be running out of here. Oh, uh, I am running out of here. <laughs> Good job. All right, Good everybody. job. Thanks for partying with us. Thanks for laughing with us. Thanks for showing up. And uh, thanks for telling us jokes.